played, and uh, the 2-2 two -two base hit down the right field line was, was, was a you know, tough one to swallow, but that's baseball, and you got to give them credit. They pitched and played defense, and they deserve to win tonight. You guys did, too, and I think that's the point you made in the press conference, and that is, hey, listen, we didn't get eliminated. We just got beat tonight. It's baseball. we got to get to work, and, of course, that means you get Florida State, uh, but, hey, I'd rather play them than be going home. You're 100% right. I mean, there's, it's, uh, it's a double elimination tournament. And uh, like I said up there in the press conference, we had won the first two games in 2010. And then we lost and came out and played bad on Thursday. So uh, we ain't going to be rusty. We're going to get back out there on Tuesday and play against a very good Florida State team. And uh, it's a little harder way. But, uh, you know, our slogan all year is find a way. So we're going to have to find a way now because it's going to be a little more difficult path. And you mentioned the fact that, hey, a couple of years ago you won that game, you had three days off, and it takes a while to kind of get back yeah. in the flow of things. Uh, I really, with the exception of that one inning tonight, your first two games, are you played about as well as you can yeah. play. Your defense has been fantastic. Yeah. Pitching has been good. It's a ballpark that really plays in what you guys do well. Yeah, I thought Nick threw the ball extremely well. I mean, he really, I don't want to say dominated him because that's, that's you can't say that when you give up four runs. Uh, but there was a five-hitter stretch where that was a difference in the game. Other than that, he pretty much, you know, had his way. And uh, But that's what good teams do. That's what t teams at this stage of the year do. They take advantage of any little crack, and and uh, we didn't take we didn't take care of business in that five hitter stretch, and they took advantage of it, and and they and, and like I said, they deserved to win the ball game, but we're still playing. We we, we took a blow, and now we got we got to bounce back. I, I think for folks that watched this game tonight, if they watched from start to finish, and they saw your domination of Stony Brook, they'd come around and say, but coming around by saying, Pac-12 baseball is pretty good. Now, these are two good baseball teams here. No question. I mean, there's a lot of good players, a lot of good drafts. Um, it's a good brand of baseball. Uh, today was a you know relatively quick game. It was a clean game. Um, you know we didn't uh, offense very well, uh, but there again their guy pitched and our guy pitched, and it, it, it came down to a couple pitches, and, and they did a you know like a better job than we did, and that was a, that was the end of the story. For college baseball fans though, to have a game like Tuesday night when you have the number two, number three national seeds playing, and basically a loser leave town match. You know what? When the season started, you kind of said, "Hey, I'll take that because yeah. that means yeah. we've been successful yeah. and we got a chance to win it all." No question. I mean, we haven't lost in quite a while. We're 48 and 14 going into tonight. We lost tonight, and I, I can't even remember. You know, we lost a cow. I think the last loss, and uh, we need to bounce back. And like I, you know, like you said, it's a two two national seeds going against each other, and it's elimination round. So that's what the College World Series is all about. You got to hey, best of luck again. Uh, tough loss tonight, but you know, you still got a shot, and you're in a good spot here. It's my pleasure. Thank you. You got there's John Savage at baseball. Field.